Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. Today I have a Sephora haul to share with you guys. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Sephora does offer a sale before their fall sale, but it's called the friends and family sale. So what the sale is, is if you know somebody that works at Sephora or if you're friends or family members of somebody that works at Sephora, then you can get a code. However, if you follow Beauty Deals BFF on Instagram, she has been posting codes from other Sephora employees so that you're able to use their code and be able to get 20% off. So everything I got here, I was able to get for 20% off. So before the fall sale, I was able to score a bunch of amazing goodies. So I'm excited to share some of these items or all of these items with you guys, let's be honest. Uh, I do have an idea for some of them that I've already used a couple, so I can tell you guys a little bit about those, so I can tell you whether or not they would be something I would maybe put on your wish list for the fall sale, or if you were able to get lucky enough to score a Sephora friends and family sale code, then you can use that. I think that code is good until the 10th, I'm pretty sure. So if you guys have that code, then you can use that as well. So let's go ahead and jump into this haul. I don't want to be super chatty. So let's jump into it. The first thing I picked up is from Pat McGrath. So this is the newest Pat McGrath palette. So here's what it looks like. This is the Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey Artistry Palette. So it does come in the cardboard packaging. And then it's got the names on the back of here of all the different colors. And then it is cardboard itself. The packaging is cardboard, so it's not like anything super luxe, but it's good cardboard, if you know what I mean. It has this little attachment here on the side so that it is able to hold itself up. It does have a nice mirror, which I haven't taken off the uh, plastic thing yet. Let's take that off together. Ooh, now that's off. So it has a nice size mirror, so you could definitely use this if you're on the go for your, like, get ready with you or get ready with you. Is your mirror to actually do your makeup in? But then it has some amazing colors in here. There are a couple matte shades, but then there's mostly, I would say it's mostly like uh, shimmer types, shimmer style shades. So I don't know what kind of style you typically like, but I am a matte girl. I love matte shades, but I do like those pops of like color that are the different textures and stuff. So it looks like we have four mattes in here and then the rest are shimmer. So this is a matte, this is a matte, this is a matte, and this is a matte. So this is one that I've already used. It's actually what's on my eyes today. I use a combination of this color, this color, this color, this color, as well as this color and this color. So I used all of those today so far. And let me tell you, this blends like a dream. I had no problems with it as well. This color right here is actually on the inner corner highlight of my eye. So if you can see that popping like shiny color right there, that's what that is. And then my lower lash line is actually this right here. It's just, it's a very beautiful palette. So if you guys are looking for a palette, that's not super expensive as far as Pat McGrath goes. I think this is a good one. This is $78 with your 20% coupon though. If you can get one, you're going to get it for a much better deal. So I really like this palette so far. The next thing I picked up is a new palette from NARS. So this is the NARS, what is this called? I don't have an oh, there. The high profile palette. So here is the cardboard packaging and then we have the palette itself. The palette is like textured. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but it has like, it's raised. So this right here itself is very pretty. I like the style of this. It kind of reminds me of, for some reason, Victoria's Secret. I don't know why, but it just does like the packaging does. It's that hot pink color. It does have a nice size mirror in here. This is like plastic packaging. And then you have five, uh, five blush shades and then as well as like a highlight shade. The highlight shade worked great on my cheekbones, so I was able to use this. It's not too deep. It's one of those that you kind of build it up. So I, that's the one thing I like about NARS products is that you, you don't go in full clown face. You can build these colors up, so I really like that. So I used the combination of these two colors as far as my blush today. I didn't go in heavy handed, so like I said, you can build them up, so I think that's great. So I really like this palette so far. I haven't used it much, but as far as I can tell you so far, it looks really nice. The colors, I think this is like a gilet. I think that's like the type of formula this is because it's not like a powder, but it's not like liquid. It's just, it's like a gilet. So when you touch it, it's super, super soft and it doesn't come off super pigmented. Do you see what I'm saying? So I think it's like a gilet type of formula. I think that's the way you call it. I'm not real familiar with it. I remember my friend Liv from Liv Loves Her Makeup. She was the first person I had heard talk about makeup products that were the gilet type of style. So 
I wish she still did YouTube because she was amazing. But anyway, let's kind of move on to the next one here. The next thing I picked up is something that I already know that I love. This is the Ola Hendrickson. This is the Glow Glow 2 O. Glow 2. Glow 2 O. Glow 2 O. I think that's what it is. I feel like I'm saying it wrong, but I don't know why. Glow 2 O. Yeah dark spot toner anyway so i already used this toner i really love it because i do have a lot of skin pigmentation issues from acne scars and i feel like it's helped a lot with healing my face and making the scars kind of dissipate it's not anything that's going to happen overnight it's one of those that you, the more you use it the better results you're going to get but this is the bigger size so this is the 10 ounce typically i'm not sure how big it is my bottle is definitely a lot smaller i would say mine's more like this size right here which is like a three ounce i would say that's about the size of the one that i typically that i'm using right now it's probably like a four ounce i'll be honest so but this one's 10 ounces and it's a better value for your buck so i had to grab that <clears throat> by the way also when you get your pat mcgrath it's going to come in like a bubble mailer type of thing which is really smart because this is going to protect your palette in transition so it's or in transit so that it doesn't break or anything which is nice because i don't know about you guys but i've gotten palettes before from sephora as well as alta and they were broken and that's not so fun the nice thing i picked up is from replica you guys know i had to get a perfume so this is the replica autumn vibes it smells really good but i'm gonna be honest i feel like a lot of the replica scents are starting to kind of smell the same I don't know if it's just me or if it's just I don't know I feel like they start to kind of blend together they all start to kind of smell very similar especially like the by the fireplace the not beach walk because that one definitely has a different set but like five by the fireplace jazz club I feel like they all kind of blend together a little bit and maybe I'm crazy but I just feel like it does this one is supposed to be a woody trail with red leaves I don't know that's the fragrance description i only got the one ounce because i was like i don't want to buy a full size one because you guys know i'm a perfume hoarder i have way too many of them so i was like just get the small one to see if you like it the next thing i got is from faded or this is topical so this is called their faded cream it is a brightening and clearing serum so again i'm working on clearing up any kind of dark pigmentation issues that i have going on so i'm hoping this will be helpful i haven't tried this yet so i don't know if this is any good if you guys have tried this before let me know what you thought of it is it any good is it bad <laughs> i'd love to know so here's what it looks like it's very simplistic packaging i don't know it's 1.7 ounces i think this was like 30 dollars, so it wasn't super cheap but then again your skin is very important so anything that i can do to make my skin look better so that there's days that I just don't want to wear makeup anymore so you can wear makeup and not feel like oh my gosh i need to cover up my scars that i have on my skin so that's what i'm going for the next thing i picked up is from beauty blender this is the beauty blender bounce skin tint i should have tried this today i forgot about it this is the always on radiant skin tint so this is like a foundation they did come out with one that was like the one where you could put the beauty blender into it and like I don't know that one didn't do so well i remember like a lot of people were not loving that i never purchased it but it didn't do so well so i got this in the shade uh light five so i'm hoping this is going to work for me i'm opening it from the bottom do you guys ever do that open it from the bottom instead of the top it's just easier sometimes so here's what the packaging looks like itself it is a dropper style formula so i'm thinking it's a very very lightweight formula let's see let's see what it looks like i'm gonna drop a little on my hand here i think that color is gonna be good for me oh i like the texture of this it's very 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 lightweight so it's not going to be heavy on your skin whatsoever and that'll be nice especially for the upcoming winter months when you don't want anything super heavy on your skin because your skin's gonna be dry anyway my skin's always dry so i'm gonna try this out and let you guys know how it works for my dry skin i don't think it was recommended for dry skin but i'm gonna try it anyway and then we have another palette so i picked up the gucci palette i was gonna try this one out today but i was like no i'll wait and then i'll try this one later and then i'll let you guys know what i'm gonna start doing is trying to do a uh, a rehaul type of video so that way there i can let you guys know how everything worked out wow look at the packaging this one came in this has got like velvet like bag here very luxe but i mean it's, it's gucci so what do you expect here's the outer packaging oh my gosh this is really beautiful this is absolutely gorgeous okay here's the colors inside of here you the pans are looking a little small but that doesn't what is why is this lifting up here 
that's weird this picks out for some reason I'm not sure why that comes out that's interesting not sure if you guys know why that comes out let me know so there's what the colors look like in here nothing extraordinary or anything like that but it looks like a color palette that I can work with very easily one that it can be almost like an everyday palette I love this blue shade right here I don't know it looks nice I'm gonna definitely be trying this out soon and I'll let you guys know definitely before the fall sale whether or not I would recommend this this is called the Beauty de Youth. I don't know what that means it's a floor palette I don't know but it's very beautiful very very luxe something you would definitely want to put on your vanity and just leave it as displayed so very pretty and then we have a couple samples in this box so I don't know why but my order got shipped into three different boxes which I'm not mad at let's be honest I'm just happy I got everything we have a topicals uh, like butter little sample and then we have the Alpha H Liquid Gold Glycolic Acid. It's a facial pad, so I have this to try out as well. I've not tried that before. The next thing I picked up is the Sephora Favorites. This is the uh, Give Me Some Shine kit. So there are three full-size items in here, and this was $34. So I thought that was a fantastic deal. So you're getting a Milk Makeup full-size, you're getting a Fenty Beauty full-size, as well as a Huda Beauty full-size. So for $34, I think that sounds like a, a fine deal, a fine, fine deal. Let's get our little cutter here, let's cut it open. Let's see what everything looks like inside of here. It's all like glossy type of products for your lips though. So if you're not a glossy fan, then you're not gonna like this. I love glossy products for my lips because I'd rather have it feel glossy than dry and cakey or anything like that. So here's what all the products look like inside of the packaging. So we've got the Huda Beauty, this is the Silk Balm. Then we have, let's see, let's just see if we can swatch everything real quick. It's probably not gonna have much color because it's mostly gloss. So let's see what this one says it is. This is the Huda Beauty Silk Balm Hydrating and Nourishing Lip Balm and Blush. So it does have a tone to it or it's supposed to have a tone to it. I don't know about that, but yeah, it's definitely just clear. I don't smell anything. I just about suck it up my nose. That was nice. The packaging is really pretty though. It's like iridescent. So I do like the packaging. Then we have the NARS. This is, I have a, a sample of this and I really love this. This is the mini afterglow in Laguna. And I love this color. It would be a color that I would think that I would not like, but I actually really do like this color because it doesn't come off super pigmented. It's just more or less like a wash of color. So there's what that looks like. And then we have the this is the Pat McGrath. Uh, this is the Lust Gloss and Flesh 6. So here's what the color looks like. And then I'll swatch it for you. Oh, that one smells really good. It smells like cake. So that one definitely has some color to it. So if you guys are looking for some that maybe have color and some that don't, then this is a set for you. Then we have the Milk Makeup. This is the Electric Glossy Lip Plumper in Pumped. Ooh, it's a plumper. Ooh, okay. Let's see, let's squeeze a little bit of this. Yeah, it's clear as well, so there's nothing, no color to that, but that one's supposed to be a plumper though. Uh-huh. It's got a min minty texture to it, or a minty feel. Almost like Bengay though, it smells kinda like Bengay. Not so sure about that. Then we have the Fenty, this is the Fenty Gloss Bomb and Fenty Glow. I think I have this one in full size, but I'll be honest, I love the Fenty Bombs because they're so nice and hydrating without being sticky or anything like that. So there's the color of that one. So they all have just, well, two of them have a little bit of color and the rest are basically nothing on your lips. And this Milk Makeup, so far, doesn't feel like anything. I mean, I can smell it. Definitely smell it. It's almost like I said, like a, a Bengay smell to it. So it's like, or, or like the Tiger Bomb. Yeah, kind of like that, so I don't know. And then the next thing I picked up is from Moroccan Body. This is actually in my bathroom, so I cannot show it to you, but this is the body lotion. So I love the Moroccan skincare line. This is the Body Souffle Body Moisturizer. If you guys love the way that the Moroccan products smell, you're going to absolutely love this because it smells just like the other products from the Moroccan line. So I used this in the bathroom last night when I was showering and oh my gosh, my skin felt so good and it smelled freaking amazing so I absolutely love this I will probably buy another one of those during the VIB sale then I also picked up this right here this is the 
Moroccan fragrance mist. So this one is for your hair and for your body. So if you want to just smell like the Moroccan scent and you don't want it to be like, uh, like a lotion, you just want it to be like a spray. This is perfect because it smells just like Moroccan scent. The problem with it is though, I found that it doesn't last very long. So the scent is not anything that's going to linger for a long period of time, something that you kind of spray on and then it dissipates within about an hour. But I think if you layer it up with like the lotion and then this body spray, then it's going to last a little bit longer. Just like typically like when you go to Victoria's Secret and you buy their lotion and you buy their body sprays, you kind of layer everything up, then it lasts a little bit longer. So this is going to do the same thing. The next thing I picked up is this right here. This is from Saint Tropez. This is the Saint Tropez, uh, hang on. <laughs> Saint Tropez Soft Tan Express. So this is a one hour for light, two hours for medium, three hours for dark. So I'm planning to do some self tanning because I'm already missing the summer tans that I, I don't really have a summer tan. I had a fake tan, but I kind of stopped doing it once like we were getting closer to fall. So I need to do that again. Then the next thing I have here is from Anastasia. So I have the Anastasia. I was told this is like really, really good. This is the Luminous Foundation and I have it in the shade 305N. So I'm hoping it's really good. I was told that it's great for dry skin. So here's what the packaging looks like. Very simplistic. It just says foundation on it. This has been out for a while, so it's not anything new, but I figured while I had the 20% coupon, I could definitely get it at that point. We have lots of samples here. So we have a Moroccan sample set. This is the hydrating shampoo and conditioner. Then we have the uh shaney darden this is the intensive eye renewal cream i got shaney darden one time in my curator or the rachel zoe box and i really loved it so maybe that'll be good as well then i have a nest fragrance this is the seville seville orange perfume oil so you have a nest orange oil orange always makes me think of winter time anyway so that's perfect then we have the bare minerals complexion rescue and then we have a Kerastase Curl Manifesto. Oh, and then this must have been, I must have used the code or something. I'm not sure where this came from. This is the Christoph Robin Aloe Vera Mask. I don't know. We'll have to try that out as well. Okay, so whoops. Moving on to the next box. The next one has some samples here. I uh, don't think this goes with this order. That goes with a different order so that goes with my Ulta order somehow or another I got stuck in here so the first thing I picked up I heard not the first thing but in this box I have the Sephora favorites this is the clean fragrance sampler I was very excited to kind of read the description box and find out that you do not have to use the code or like the, the card that comes in here you don't have to use it in store anymore because I don't have a full Sephora near me I have Sephora inside of a JC Penney's but they don't accept the code, the little cards. So I'm like, what in the world? So now you can actually redeem these online, but this one comes with six different perfumes. So we have the, so here's what the packaging looks like. First of all, it's like cardboard packaging, very, very eco-friendly. It looks like it's like made of like pressed paper or pressed card. I don't know. It's really, really cool how they made the packaging in my opinion. So inside of here we have, let me show you have everything stuffed down into this little package right here as well as your little card that's going to get you your perfume that you choose for free so not for free you've paid for this box but you're going to choose one for a full size so here's all the perfumes uh oh i think one is broken <gasps> it is uh oh what happened here so it looks like we have one broken i wonder if it can just snap back on yep it kind of does maybe <laughs> I don't know it's, it's a missing its top so this one was the Mission Luis Marie number four I'm sure I butchered that name but hopefully you're understanding what I'm saying so here's what it is it's the Mission Luis hopefully we can make the camera see this because my camera is so awesome sometimes I don't know why but it really washes things out then we have the Skylar Salt Air, so I'm excited about trying that one as well. 
Then we have the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. This is one that I almost purchased like a full size on, but I was like, wait, I'll try it first. Then we have the Ellis Brooklyn Salt. So this is one that I know that I love. So if nothing, I can get the Ellis Brooklyn one, which is one that I've been wanting anyway. Then we have the Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar. So we have all these little perfumes to try out and then you can choose which one you want as in a full size. And the full sizes are, I think like 1.7 ounces. They're not huge. Uh, 1.5 or 1.7 is the biggest one. The 1.7 is the seven virtues. The rest are 1.5 ounces. So, or no, 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 that's not true. Uh, full size is 1.7 for all of them. No, wait, clean reserve is 3.4. Clean reserve, you can get a 3.4 ounce container. So that's a decent size. So anyway, if you guys are interested in trying out a perfume, that's a good way to do it. Try them out with a small sample sizes and then pick out which one you like. Let's see if we can get this one to spray. Oh man, that stinks. I'm not gonna be able to try this one. What? How do I fix this? How do I fix you? I'm gonna have to try to see if I can fix this so I can try it out because right now it looks like I'm not gonna be able to even try that one out. That stinks. Then we have another palette. So this is the last palette that I picked up, but I also have two more samples here. I have the Dr. Barbara Sturm Molecule Cosmetics. This is the enzyme cleanser. And then we have the Jo Malone Pl Peony and Blush Suede Cologne. So I do like Jo Malone perfumes. I think they smell amazing. The last palette and the last thing I picked up is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the newest palette. This is the Instant Eye Palette, Smoky Eyes Are Forever, for hypnotic eye glow looks. So let me show you what this looks like on the inside. So here's the outer packaging, very beautiful. And then we have four different looks in here you can create. So here's the different looks. So here, this set is one look, this set is a look, this set is a look, and then this set is a look. So I'll show you guys up close what this looks like so you guys can get a good feel for how it looks show it side to side so i'm excited to try this one out i don't know if i've tried any of the charlotte tilbury palettes before i don't think i have at least i can't remember so anyway that is a palette that i'm going to be trying out as well but like i told you guys what i'm going to do is try everything out and then come back on and do like a review of everything that i purchased that were there you can guys you guys will know what's good and what's not so good so which ones maybe you want to add to your wish list if you guys are interested in any of the things that I purchased. So anyway, that is it for my Sephora friends and family sale. So I would love to know, did you get a code and did you shop the sale as well? I'd love to know. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.